Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. When the U.S. Department of Commerce asserted that China cannot mass-produce AI chips, the SN910B in Huawei's Shenzhen laboratory was running at high speed in the server cluster. This five-year technical siege not only failed to strangle the throat of China's AI industry, but also gave birth to a complete ecological chain from chip design to scene landing. 1. Technological Singularity Under the Blockade Order The Export Control Regulations upgraded by the U.S. Department of Commerce in 2024 will take long-arm jurisdiction to the extreme. According to the new regulations, any chip design software, manufacturing equipment using U.S. technology, and even production lines that have been exposed to U.S. technology in the past must be reported to the United States. This joint responsibility blockade seems strict but in fact it exposes the United States' lagging understanding of the globalization of technology when Huawei used domestic EDA tools to complete the design of a SEN 910B, and when SMIC used mature processes to achieve cheap mass production, the United States discovered that their blockade network had long been riddled with holes. Huawei's breakthrough is more symbolic. After being included in the entity list, Huawei not only built the CAN computing architecture and MindSpore framework, but also extended chip research and development to bottleneck links such as photoresist and ion implanters. This fooling breakthrough strategy allows the SN series chips to reach 80% of NVIDIA's A100 in computing power density, while reducing power consumption by 30%. As Ren Xiongfei said, the blockade has taught us not to use American technology to make chips. 2. Ecological Reconstruction From Single Point Breakthrough to System Victory The breakthrough of China's AI chips is essentially the reconstruction of the ecological system. At the Wuhan National Memory Base, Yangtze Memory's 3D NAN flash memory and ASEN chips form a storage computing linkage. At the Hafei Quantum Center, the Origin Quantum team is developing a quantum computing interface that is compatible with domestic chips. This cross-domain collaboration has allowed China's AI industry to escape the trap of cheap performance competition and instead build a three-dimensional advantage of hardware plus algorithm plus application. The more critical breakthrough is in the open source field. The open-source chip design based on the RISV instruction set has freed Chinese companies from the licensing system of ARM and x86. In 2024, the Shadow 1520 chip launched by Pintouche Semiconductor used an open-source architecture to achieve accelerated computing of the transformer model, and its performance surpassed that of traditional GPUs in edge computing scenarios. This open-source breakthrough 
strategy is forming a de-Americanization technology alliance on a global scale. 3. Market counterattack, from being controlled by others to defining rules. The unexpected consequence of the U.S. blockade is to accelerate the internationalization of China's AI chips. In Southeast Asia, the Ascend chip equipped with Alibaba Cloud Server is seizing the market with a 30% price advantage. In the Middle East, the AI supercomputing center built by Huawei and Saudi Arabia all uses domestic chip solutions. What is more noteworthy is that Chinese chip companies have begun to reversely export technical standards Cambrian's MLU architecture has been adopted by the international open source community and has become a new paradigm for AI chip design. The turning point of this game appeared in the third quarter of 2024 when the United States discovered that China's AI server exports grew by 40% year-on-year, and when global developers began to optimize models based on the Ascend platform, they had to admit that the blockade not only did not stop the development of Chinese chips, but instead gave birth to a more independent and resilient industrial ecosystem. As the economist said, China is using the U.S. blockade to write new rules for the AI era. Looking back at the time note of 2025, the U.S. technology blockade is like a boomerang. When the Ascend 910C chip of Huawei Laboratory was completed, and when the funds of the third phase of the National Big Fund were injected into the industrial chain, China's AI industry has quietly completed the role transformation from chaser to rule maker. This war without gunpowder proves that real technological breakthroughs are never blocked, but forced. In summary, the U.S. technological blockade has become a catalyst for the rise of China's AI chips. Huawei's Ascend 910B uses domestic technology to achieve 80% of NVIDIA's computing power. Behind the 40% growth in global AI servers, China is rewriting the rules of the game with open-source ecology and fooling breakthroughs.